moving to the 40s and eventually into the 50s. Conditions are expected to stay nice and dry through the weekend, but we could see some rain chances return as early as Tuesday. All right, thank you, Lexi. USA Health is in need of therapy dogs. You might have a sweet dog in your home that you think would make a good therapy dog, but a lot goes into getting certified. Here is a look at what the handlers and dogs go through to make the cut. I want to see how you work as a team. It's a nerve wracking day for these Gulf Coast dogs and their handlers. Okay, come back. They're each being put through the same test to be certified by the Pet Partners Organization to be able to visit patients in hospitals. You can't have any aggression, barking, uh, licking, mouthing. A lot of dogs, not just, they're not biting, but they're mouthy. Let's go. The first dog, Cappy, the King Charles Spaniel, sailed right through. We're very <laughs> excited to get started. Good job, good job. Instructor Sarah Majors tested her obedience. Okay, come back. And others tried to distract her. In a hospital setting, there are noises that these animals have to become accustomed to. All the things that are involved in visiting a hospital or, or a rehabilitation center, she would be perfect because she can tolerate just about anything and enjoy it. Great walk, nice heel. Jesse the Collie Mix was made for this test. In fact, his owner, Rachel Leard, is having him recertified to be a therapy dog. Jesse ignored distractions to get him off track and wasn't phased by another dog being used as a decoy. Depending on the environment that you are visiting, um, your dog may have to be what we call bomb proof. You know, if something crazy happens, there are people running around, loud noises, it cannot affect the dog. Murphy, the golden retriever, was excited to be at the test, while his handler, Elizabeth Campbell, was nervous. I'm a little nervous, to tell you the truth, and he, I think, can feel my nerves. Murphy was obedient and would sit. Pet Partners tells me that the part of the test where most dogs fail is basic obedience. Murphy here is a very obedient golden retriever, but he had a problem with the basic command, stay. Pet Partners only gives the handler three times to instruct the dog to stay. While the handler backs up, Murphy got it on the third time. He brings so much joy to our family that I wanted to share that joy with other people. Therapy dogs literally have to be almost perfect. And handler Rachel Leard's second dog, Z, had one little problem. She got excited and barked once, then barked again. As a result, she did not receive the highest rating. At the end of the day, they are animals. They are not perfect, just like we as people and handlers are not perfect. So, Hopefully. Not all the dogs got the highest rating, but they will be able to visit patients in the hospital. They just sort of take on the emotions of other people, kind of know when they're needed. Give me a high five. Oh, good boy! The owners hope the dogs will be able to provide comfort in the midst of a tough time in the hospital for patients. With All right, so what do you think? Will your dog make the cut? If you'd like to learn more about becoming a therapy dog, visit WKRG.com. We have provided a link to the Pet Partners webpage. We'll be right back.